Hi folks, it's the dude here down in the dungeon. We're not going to do our barrel changes today. I actually did them yesterday, but we are going to look in one. This is our tutorial barrel. It's been through the pre-polish, and I put it in a wash cycle for 24 hours. And we're going to go ahead and put the polish in it. Everything else we're not going to look at. We have the uh, Tiger Eye um, on its final rough roll. It's halfway filled with other rocks and media. Um, we have obsidian still in there. And we have our thunder eggs and Brazil agates. And they're in polish. They've been in polish for a week. We're going to let them go another week before we look at them. So I'm going to wash out this barrel and we'll get to it. So we've got a lot of barrels in polish or approaching polish. We'll have some finished batches soon, which we haven't had for a while. So I want to talk about the polish and media, and maybe we'll look at an oil painting at the end. First off, this is our tutorial barrel. It's been through pre-polish, and you can see that these rocks are mostly dry. They're getting kind of a matte finish on them. And we'll go ahead and I put it less polished than I do normal grit. Like a grit for a three pound barrel, I'll put in three tablespoons normally. Uh, two tablespoons if it's a softer material because it tends to uh, mud up a little faster. And then with um, pre-polish, I go with two tablespoons max. And with polish, I'm just going to go with a tablespoon. Now this is actually a teaspoon, so I'm going to put in three, three teaspoons to the tablespoon. So I use less polish than I do normal grit, and I run it twice as long. We're going to let these run two weeks. Our uh, thunder eggs have been in for a week. I'm going to let them run in the barrel another week before I even check them out. With rough grit, the coarse grit, you want to recharge the grit every week because the grit gets weak and it's not cutting the rocks as much. With polish, it's different. We want this polish to break down as small as possible. The smaller the polish particles, they actually the better polish you're going to get. So we're going to cap these off, put these in for two weeks. Now a lot of people ask me about media. And I use ceramic media. I'll show you my media barrel here. This is my media bucket. You see that it has small ceramic. If I were to buy more ceramic, I'd buy large and let it break down to small. But also it has small rocks in here. Now the purpose of media is, of course, to fill the voids between the rocks, um, to cushion the rocks, and also to fill the barrel if you need more volume. So actually, if you just went with small rocks of the same or lesser hardness, that would be a fine media. You don't have to put in ceramics at all. I think ceramics are good if you can get them. They're a little softer than rock. Whatever your media you're using, you want it to be softer than the material you're, you are polishing. So I don't really use media in my rough rolls. When you have a rough rock like this, you want to be wearing down on these sharp edges and you want to be wearing down on these high points. I really don't want the media getting in there and wearing that low spot any lower. I want to knock the high points down. So I think media is kind of counterproductive in the rough stage. Usually I'll add media in the medium stage all the way through polish and the ceramic media you can carry along from one stage to the next. One thing you can do if you don't have ceramics is possibly break up a ceramic tile. Uh, this is probably a little soft and it'll probably mud up really bad but you could use it. I'd break it up into pieces and probably roll it for two or three days and maybe a tablespoon of coarse or media grit and uh, let it round down the corners a little bit before I used it. You could also potentially break up pieces of glass or you could use marbles 
or decorative glass pieces. You can even go with softer materials. A lot of people use the plastic pellets. I don't use the plastic pellets. You have to change those between stages because they do catch a little grit. They get embedded with a little bit of grit. Um, other options, you know, you could use little pieces of wood. Uh, I've seen people use rubber bands as long as they're cut up into small pieces. If you leave them whole, they tend to ball up. Uh, I've mentioned this before, and this is a Harbor Freight ceramic media. It's not the best media to use. It's a little more porous than our tumbling media, and it has its own grit in it. I bought some of this when I first started. The only stage I will use this in is in coarse stage if I need to fill the barrel a little bit. So they say rock polishing is for patient people and I'm not really patient, I'm lazy. I put the rocks in a barrel, I wait a week, I rinse, I repeat. If you want to see patience, look at somebody making a cabochon. They're at the wheel for an hour or two, shaping the, that thing meticulously and they come out with one rock. But you got to have hobbies to fill the void. And Wolfie and I lately have been doing some oil painting. As you can tell, I'm not very good yet, but we will get better. We'd like to be the channel that you come to when you want to learn about rock tumbling. If you like what we're doing here, give us your subscription. And if you like our channel, check out some of the links, the other channels that I link up to. Um, one of those channels, Up North Adventures with CCC, is a wonderful channel. She searches that Michigan area for Leland Blue glass, glass slag. Um, they get uh, pudding stones, agates, and some fossils, Petoskey stones and whatnot. So give her a subscription too. I guess that's all I have for you today. So until next time, be happy, be kind, and make your home a safe place. Bye, everyone.